Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna show you some products that didn't really work on my hair. And I'm only doing this, I'm not doing this to bash any brands or anything. Um, and disclaimer, just because these products don't work for my hair, it doesn't mean they won't work for yours. But even with that, as I show you the products that didn't work for my hair, I'm gonna show you something else from the brand that I did like. So just to keep the positivity. So let's get started. The first brand is African Pride. So both of these are actually leave-in conditioners. This one has olive oil and this one has shea butter. So the one that I love, oh my God, I love so much. And these, by the way, are only like $3. I know, right? For leave-in conditioner. I love the olive oil. This one has shea butter. It did not work for me. And I was really disappointed. I really thought it was going to work. My hair loves shea butter, but so this one I would dump. This one I would bump. <laughs> bump it or dump it. If you know, you know. <laughs> The next brand, if you're not too familiar, this is by Tracy Ellis Ross. She created this line about a year ago, and I actually don't have the product that I would dump. I actually love both of these. The product that I did try, initially I tried it first, it was the leave-in conditioner, and it just didn't work for me, I'm sorry. I wanted it to, maybe I'll try it again with these, because I didn't try it with these, I just got these, these kind of just dropped. This is the cream gel and this is the curl cream and I love them both. So I do love these both and I am going to have a full review coming on these soon and just more, more details about them. But I would dump the leave-in conditioner and keep these. Here's another brand I've actually been using for some time now. I'd say about maybe almost two years, a little over a year, year and a half, something like that. Um, initially, I loved all of their products, but as the time goes on, you do start to notice more about different products. So, do 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 I would dump this one, but I would bump this. This stuff is amazing, and actually, all of their other products are amazing. I just have these two here. But the leave-in conditioner, initially, I thought it did work well, but after a while, I started to see that this just doesn't hold my hair. Um, I wouldn't prefer it if I could choose from their products, but this serum, ooh, it's more like a light gel, but it works really well. Also, their their gel, their, they, have a, they have an actual gel. It works really well, their styling gel, and their curl cream, and the, their shampoo is good as well, so. But bump it, oh no, <laughs> dump it, bump it. All right, so this next brand, I'm pretty sure you're probably familiar with, Can Too. Almost everybody has probably tried this once in their life. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions. This is the new avocado line, so this is not the original line, but I will tell you what from this line I would dump, mm -mm -mm. and it would be this. This is the cream. Unfortunately, I feel like this cream just didn't do it for me, but I do love their curl activating cream, which is this long tube right here and their gel and a lot of their other stuff is pretty good as well um but yeah i would have to dump the curling cream the leave-in conditioner which i don't have it's gone um i'll do another video on on empties so you guys can really see what i'm using all the way but that's been gone so dump it the curl cream bump these okay so this next brand a lot of controversy over this brand the last few years or years so um quick disclaimer i do have another video a whole video that i've already done you can go watch it you can pause this one go watch it whatever you want go watch it after where i do talk more about the deeper curl scandal but let me just say um i don't know maybe i worded things wrong i do think that deeper curl did damage some girl's hair i'm not denying that so i just wanted to clear that up before you go watch or if you've already watched i definitely do um i was just adding my two cents and my opinion i am always transparent on here but i didn't mean to um discredit anyone that has had actual damage because i have seen it i've seen it I, I believe me i i do think something happened i don't think it's with certain products but i'm not going to get into that go watch the video but okay bump it or dump it so the styling cream bump it all day this stuff is amazing it doesn't matter what anyone tells me i'm gonna keep using it um i've had a great experience with it it's never done me wrong so this i would not recommend the no poo i wouldn't re and there's a lot of other things to them i wouldn't recommend i wouldn't recommend the wash day wonder i heard that's the main one um the list goes on go watch the other video but the styling cream is the only product i currently use from diva curl that i feel good about using and it actually does give amazing results i used it for these these results right here so bump it dump it okay another brand i've actually used for a while like can too from day one i've used this brand it's really cheap um affordable you can find it everywhere you just have to be sure that it's for your certain hair type so this this curl pudding is it called curl pudding curl cream it's, it's a leave-in conditioner i like i like to think of it as a curl pudding it's really really good for my hair so i would bump this and unfortunately i would dump these these are leave-in conditioners too but they just did not do it for my hair 
Um, one little more thing, this curl stretch cream from Garnier, I don't have it and I haven't used it in a while, but I should. I just don't really buy products too often because I have so many, but it's really good. The Garnier Curl Stretch Cream. So these leave-in conditioners, I would say maybe if you have more fine hair, maybe it's for you, but they just were not for me. Um, but this leave-in was good. So I'm all about a good leave-in conditioner. I truly believe a good leave-in conditioner is what's going to make or break your wash and go. So make sure you get good leave-in conditioners. I'll do a different video. There will be a whole video on leave-in conditioners. And if I don't have it in stock, I'll just have a picture of it. But I'll let you know all the good leave-in conditioners that I feel like are just on top basically next brand our beloved bounce curl i'm sure so many have heard of this brand it's huge it's grown dramatically in these past years um and i love most of their products <laughs> which one do you think i'm gonna dump um <laughs> so i love the co-wash that's this one here i love this cream the rose cream i didn't love the leave-in conditioner now you guys like i just said i'm a real stippler when it comes to good leave-in conditioners this just didn't do it for me so but i do love their other products i love their gel um what else have i used from them their clarifying shampoo i haven't tried their new products like their new new ones i heard they had some like defining butter or some other stuff but these i like just not so much the leave-in conditioner next brand uncle funky's daughter now this curl stimulator i'm sure you guys have already heard about it so i don't even, you already know which one i'm gonna dump i'm gonna dump this <laughs> Um, this didn't have enough slip. This is a hydrating conditioner and just did not do it for me. Um, this is something I would use to detangle my hair. I wouldn't leave this in or use it as a deep conditioner. I would just use it to detangle. Look. But it just didn't do it for me. Not enough slip. But this gel that they have, this curl stimulator, go get you some right now. Stop what you're doing. Go get you some right now. I told you. Curls, curls, curls. So this brand, I do love most of their products. They are a little pricey. I'd say some of them are worth it. Um, this one, this bottle's not even open, but I have used this before. This is just a second bottle I had. This is their Defining Jelly. This is like a staple I love, love, love. So that tells you that I would bump this. And this is for rod sets. It's like a gel for rod sets, like a cream gel. But I just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. So bump it, dump it. The next brand is Orive. So this is a luxury brand. This gel, I think, costs about $30. I think this stuff costs about $40. I've used the whole line, the deep conditioner, the wash, the other cream, the leave-in, everything. I'm all out of all that. These are the only two I have. So I do love most of the line, but this styling butter, I just did not like. It's too thick. And for my hair, I, I do need a lot of product for my hair, but this one is just too thick. It just weighted down too much. I wasn't able to get volume. This jelly, I do love. It's super lightweight. It reminds me of Aunt Jackie's ice curls. So bump it a dump it the last brand this is drunk elephant so this is their scrub and this is their shampoo and i did get their shampoo and conditioner which i do like their conditioner and i like their shampoo it was the scrub that didn't really do it for me i didn't feel like it got my scalp clean i have other scrubs that do a better job so sorry but we're gonna have to dump it <laughs> but i love this stuff well all right you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that helped a little bit when deciding which products to get i am gonna do a lot more videos i know i always say it. um i'm trying to get the videos out but the videos i said i'm gonna have uh, prior in this video i will get those out but i do want to do like a favorite product um video i do have a a product haul um with products i'm using but not all of those i love it was just stuff i use stuff i'm trying but i want to do one where i'm just like you guys all these products are bomb and you have to get them just so like you kind of know so you just have those go-to products because i know that what that feels like being unsure like you have a date at night you have a something important where your hair needs to look good and you're just like hmm you don't really want to experiment you just need products to go to so trust me sis i got you all right y'all until next time